everyone and welcome. My name is Christine. I have common variable immune deficiency. Today I want to talk about my thoughts and experiences and opinions on working in healthcare while also having a primary immune deficiency. I work as a physical therapist. I work in the inpatient setting, so I am in a hospital. I primarily work in a rehabilitation hospital, but I have also floated and gone to the acute care side, including the ICU, several times. I've been working in a hospital for four years now. When I mention my immune deficiency to someone and what I do for a living. A common comment that I hear is, shouldn't you not work in a hospital? Isn't it not safe for you to be in a hospital? My response is that I feel perfectly safe working in a hospital with my immune deficiency given that I am on immune globulin replacement. I feel like it is just as safe for me as it is for everyone else. I personally believe that working in a hospital is actually safer than some of the other settings and jobs out there for the main reason being that when a patient has a contagious illness, you typically know about it before you're interacting with that patient. There are contact precaution boxes on the patient's doors, it's in the chart, and you know how to protect yourself before you even interact with this person. When you're out in a public setting or if you work in a school or something like that, people don't walk around with contact precautions around. You don't know what they have. In a hospital, you know. You can take the precautions that you need when you're interacting with that person. In public, you can't do that. In my four years of working in a hospital and in healthcare, as far as I'm aware, I have never gotten an illness from a patient or gotten any type of infection directly related from my job. As far as treating patients with contact precautions, I've obviously, I have treated several patients with different contact precautions. When I treat patients that have the flu, I will admit I hate treating the patients that have the flu. It does make me a little uneasy. I am probably more paranoid than most of my coworkers. Given that I work as a physical therapist, when I treat patients with the flu, I usually not only wear a mask, but I also put on the gown because I tend to get very close with my patients. So I might be right up next to them while I'm helping them stand up on the edge of the bed. If a patient goes to cough and then they're coughing on my clothes, I don't want that flu virus all over my shoulder. I'd rather have a gown on where I just take that gown off and throw that flu virus away. Maybe I am a little paranoid with that, but I don't really see the harm in taking that extra step. As far as C. diff patients, I've treated many, many patients who have C. diff. Thankfully, I have never gotten C. diff. I will say with these patients, I tend to double, triple glove when I treat them, especially if they are somebody that is still very much going to the bathroom very frequently and there is a lot to clean up. When I have the layers of gloves on, it's much easier to just peel them off and keep going rather than having to constantly put on new gloves. With C. diff patients, you do have to wash your hands with soap and water. You cannot use the hand sanitizer because it is the spores. One of the less common contagious things I see are patients with shingles. So I will admit, I really don't like treating patients with shingles. It does make me uneasy. With a primary immune deficiency, you are not able to get the chickenpox vaccine since it is a live vaccine. So I had the first one before I was diagnosed. Thankfully, I didn't get chickenpox, but I've never had the booster. I've never had chickenpox. Now, when I had to get my blood work for PT school, yes, I tested as having the antibodies against chickenpox because I get immune globulin. And I probably likely always have a very high antibody amount to chickenpox because of how common it is in the donation pool for people to have antibodies against it. But I don't know technically month to month how high my antibody level is. Thankfully, that is not common at all for me to encounter. As with all patients, whether they have a contagious illness or not, you obviously, you should be cleaning your hands before and after each patient interaction. Wear gloves if you need to, wear the gowns if you need to, wear a mask if you need to. 
as long as I take the appropriate precautions and have the appropriate hand hygiene, I really don't have any problem treating in a hospital. Another thing that might come up about working in healthcare is the PPD screening. In healthcare, once a year, we have to get tested for tuberculosis where they do the PPD on the inner arm. I have never heard of that being a precaution for anyone with an immune deficiency. I've gotten it every year. My doctor has said it's okay for me to get. Whether that test is reliable or not because I have an immune deficiency, that's another question. Another thing that is becoming much more common in healthcare is the the requirement of the flu vaccine. More and more and more hospitals are requiring the staff to get flu vaccines. Some are absolutely mandating it. Some are still kind of leaving it optional. Some make you wear a mask if you don't get it. Some penalize you in other ways. I have gotten the flu shot every single year since I've been diagnosed. My immunologist actually wants me to get the flu shot. My hospital wants me to get it. They both want me to get it, so I get it. There used to be a nasal spray for the flu vaccine. That was a live virus. I don't believe that's even out there anymore, but that is something that someone with an immune deficiency cannot get because it is a live virus. The killed flu vaccine is not a contraindication. So in conclusion, having a primary immune deficiency is not a sole reason to avoid a job in healthcare. I think there are definitely more dangerous areas in healthcare than others. Thankfully, there are plenty of different fields. Me being in the rehab hospital, I tend to have a more stable patient population that is less likely to have contagious illnesses, although we do see contagious illnesses pretty often. I really don't see a reason to avoid working in healthcare solely because of the immune deficiency. Working in healthcare gives me the great benefit of seeing how broken the system is from both a practitioner point of view and a patient point of view. So it's very, very lovely. We have a great system going on here. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of your week, wherever you are. Bye.